Okay, guys. As you can see, I added a piece of code to the uh, code that we uh, wrote in the previous lecture. I will explain this code. Uh, I see that uh, right, explaining this code instead of writing it from zero will be much better to you uh, to understand the main concept and the main um, thing that will happen when we send the DA authentication packet using the SCAPI library. I just uh, um, make a small change on the previous code. I added an append um, operation and I declared the list to uh, add the addresses that we will uh, use uh, them to jam on the networks. Uh, so this is the code after the editing. This is the previous code and this is the uh, code I just add. This code is a very simple code. We will uh, look at that we declared a function named jam and we will give give this function an address. And this address will be the address in this list to jam on it, to jam in all NearPy networks, not on just one address. So we will uh, here put the um, monitor mood card which we will, uh, I will see you guys how we can put an interface in monitor mode. I, I connected uh, to uh, my machine, my other machine that we will perform the authentication attack from it. If we type IW config, we will see that we got two cards, WLAN1 and WLAN0. We will use WLAN1. We will change the status of WLAN1 from mood managed to uh, mood monitor, monitor mood. Okay. We'll use a small uh, command using iwconfig, wlan1 down. Okay, now we'll use iwconfig, wlan1 mood monitor to, to make sure that we are changing the mood for this card from managed to monitor. As we can see, if we type iwconfig, we'll see that we changed the wlan1 from mood monitor, from mood uh, managed to mood monitor, and we did it. Uh, correctly. Now, the last step in, or the last code in this uh, script will be the jamming code, which is the most, mo the most important uh, code. We will de declare a function named jam and we will pass an address for it. Now, we will put the uh, monitor uh, mood uh, interface, which is the WLAN one. Then we uh, declare the PSSID as an address. We will use the address as the PSSID variable. The client, uh, that means we, we need to broadcast the packet we will send to all the clients, to, to all connected clients, to make sure that we will disconnect them from the network and tell them that, hey, I'm the network and I, well, I want to disconnect you from my network. So please disconnect. <laughs> that is the script that we will uh, do it and we will uh, see that this script will really work works on uh, in this case. Now uh, we will uh, declare the variable count with the three. This is the how many times that I want to send the uh, packet, the deauthentication packet. I will declare it here uh, to the host. Conf verb equals zero. This is a scappy variable, and we declare that using the conf. As we can see, the configuration I face. Uh, which is the interface I said, the WLAN1, and here the conf dot verb equals zero. We configure, configured this uh, variable for SCAPI. Now we declare the packet using radio tab from SCAPI library as we imported it from here, using also the conf, of course. Uh, now we declare the packet using radio tape dot 11, and I can't explain this code anymore uh, to you guys. You need to write uh, to read more about um, SCAPI and I want from you to write a pref about SCAPI and send it to me, especially uh, about the dot 11 to make sure guys you are um, familiar to this. And as we can see, we pass the required uh, argument to dot 11, such as the subtype that we declared it as uh, 12, 12 that uh, used as a subtype, you can uh, read more about it. The type equals zero, the address one, the which is the uh, broadcast that we did, address two, the PSSID, and address three, the PSSID. That's uh, the uh, first um, uh, component of the packet. And we make sure that we used the authentication packet with the reason equals seven. That's 
means that we want to to create a packet which with this uh, specification to uh, send this packet to all the networks then as we can see for n and range and count we created a list with the element of count which is a three so we will send the packet three times in um, uh, in a sequence where of course uh, so we will print later on print the authentication the number of the the authentication packet and sent via which as the uh, interface that we determined to to the PSSID to the address and for the client the client that we um, declared and the client of course is a, a broadcast so we will send this packet to all the clients that connected to the network and we will uh, say to them to uh, cut the connection uh, uh, from the network and now um, we will uh, write a while loop and this while uh, true is an infinite loop this infinite loop will make sure that we will extract each PSSID from uh, the PSSID's uh, list which we created here then we will um, print jamming on the status that we are uh, or the status of the uh, PSSID will Printed here, jamming on. That means we are jamming on the PSSID, which is uh, we passed, uh, or we will uh, pass it to jam uh, function. So you can see that we will pass the PSSID address to the jam function. So we, it will create all uh, these things. Then we'll send the packet and will uh, um, just repeat that in an infinite way to make sure that we will. Uh, jam on the networks in an infinite way if you want to cancel this you just have to control z to cut or kill the process uh directly you can act, manage this way by making a key uh, an execution way or or sorry uh, in the execution by typing uh, a way to uh execute that uh this is not my point here i want to make sure that everything is good and uh i hope guys uh you um let's say get okay with this code i know it's mm, just they're a little complicated but i really really enjoy uh that while i was writing it so i hope you guys enjoyed that uh, also so in the next lecture we will um run the script in a real world network see you in the next lecture